Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're first time here on this channel, my name is Tim. And of course you already know what the name of this channel is. This channel have nothing to do with anything, but it has to do with everything. Because everything I do is try to get the most out of my bucks. Therefore, I will try to share with you how I do it. And you will get the most for your bucks also. Alright, today let's check this out. So, today I'm not usually in my minivan camper. I'm in my son, uh, Scion 2008, uh, 2012 Scion XD. Which I convert on the fly with zero bill to use and travel and live in for 11 days. And I call it a micro camper. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a link up here. Either up here or down in the description box. So check that video out how I convert into a micro camper with no bill at all. And I was able to live in it for 11 days and I do everything in it. Alright, so today we're going to talk about uh, one of the components that costs less than $10 yet. It might do a lot of damage to your vehicle if it doesn't work properly. So it is called a PVC. What a PVC is, uh, it's called a positive crankcase uh, PVC, ventilation. So, you know, as your engine's burning, sometimes it have blow by and it will build up uh, pressure in your crankcase area. So this valve will release it, the pressure, and go back into the intake manifold. That way it burns that, that, that oil that get bypassed, you know, through the piston and then reburn it. So that way there's no pollution in the air. So this costs about $10, a little bit, sometimes 12, sometimes nine. So around $10. And usually these are very easy to change on any engine. But with this particular uh, vehicle, it takes a lot of work. It took me almost two hours to change it out. And if you really want to uh, attack that task, go ahead and watch the rest. Otherwise, here's a hint for you. If you do keep up with your maintenance on the vehicle, you know, the oil change and the oil filter at the interval that the vehicle is prescribed to, like 5,000 miles, then you don't really have to worry about this. Let me show why. I hope you hear that. If it moves like this, that means the valve is very good. The newer one will move a little bit more freely, but uh, if you really want uh, to not worry, change this out and, and take on this difficult task of two, three hours of removing stuff, all you have to do is, uh, you will see later on that there's a little valve, a uh, little hose that will come up to where the intake box is. You can spray in some sea foam into the hose and you know do this before you about when you're about to change the oil because that way if there's any contaminant go into the oil you you're going to change it out anyway so what it does the uh, the sea foam will go in here and loosen up this i hope you can hear that see there's a little valve in here that move back and forth so that will allow the pressure to escape when it's too much or it, and it's sealed when there's nothing. So that way you don't burn the actual oil unnecessarily, you know. So if you are still adamant about doing this job, go ahead and check it out. All right, check it out. So you're going to have to unclip the uh, cover. One, two, detach the connection to the um, mass airflow sensor and then kind of I have to get this out of the way so it be free see now it's free you can either loosen this up or, well since I'm gonna remove this anyway I'm losing this up already I'm gonna disconnect this hole from here and we're gonna remove this all right So to save you time, I removed this, two holes here, see they all came out, 
this one, that one came out from here and here. This hole come from here, which I kind of have to move this bracket out of way to get. Actually, this hole goes to that uh, intake manifold. So, yeah, this hole goes to the intake, the intake uh, car, the filter housing collar, which was over here. This one, in order to get this loose, I have to loosen this up, which is from here. You see this nut here? This nut here will move, get it out of the way so it's easy. See, I have to move this anyway in order to remove the valve cover later on. So, but today, we're going to focus on this. This, uh, this is a throttle body. And then this is an intake manifold. The PVC valves under this thing, and I'm gonna bring you back once I take it out. So it look like we have to remove one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna bring you back. See what else I need to disconnect in order to get this manifold out. All right. Right now this is clear. I'm gonna try to remove these four ball and take this. I have to clean this anyway. See inside here, this little butterfly is dirty. See how black it is on the bottom. I'm gonna bring it out. Bring you back when we get it out. So after you remove all those surrounding uh, plug, uh, wire, plug, hoses, remove these four bolts, you should be able to take it out easily. So it should come right out. So what I do, I always have a magnet so thing don't, don't get lost on me, you know. See these bolts come out. Four. You can see the last ball holding it. And it come right out. See? See how nasty it is inside. I'm gonna clean the inside here. So take a close look at it. See how dirty it is. So see that's why I like to remove these and clean them. And then there's this uh, little gasket here. It should be a gasket here. Oh, you know the gasket is inside here. Do you see the little circle here? This, this is the gasket right here. Remember, this is 10 years old, so these are uh, rubber. Rubber don't last forever, so. It's a good idea to re remove and replace them. That way, it's still better. So I remove one, two, three, four, five. There's a sixth one which is hidden and will not let go until, let me see, I can focus. See that one right here? Yeah, that one. That one had to be removed. Hopefully it will come out. So it did not want to budge. So I'll bring you back when it's out. 
So here is the part for replacement that uh, PVC valve and it's gonna use a number 23, no 22 Focus, focus Yeah, 22 Socket and it barely fit too. All right So this is the old one that I took out I hope you can hear the shaking can you hear that? That's a good uh, PVC valve. But since I got already got out, and then this is a new one, see you hear that? Same thing. Might as well replace it. It's after ten years. Might as well, right? All right, all right. After an hour of struggling with this, even though I removed one, two, three, four, five, and six, that one down here, right? It's still a struggle to get out because see this wire bundle, the big one here, is a hookup under here. There should be a hole. See this? And uh, it hook up to that hole also. So you have to unhook that bundle from there. This one in order to, to unlock it, you kind of have to uh, slide a screwdriver in like this. slide it inside here and then pry it out that's how I was able to get out so finally I got it out so as you can see all right let me pause this here's a rare look up inside of the intake valve that's uh, I don't know what number that one is that one. You see anything here? See, that's to look clean. Yeah, you don't want to drop anything in here, so make sure you either keep everything clean or, or put a big crack in it so it doesn't nothing will drop in. See how all the leaves stuff like that. I'm gonna vacuum them out right now. So the whole part of removing everything is just the same to swap out that piece right there this piece because there's no room to access to it see even pulling this hole is very hard to pull out and then there's, there's no way you can put a socket in there you actually have to use a, a wrench for that part to get it out what a pain in the butt Toyota you fail So I replace the seal, make sure the seal sit in the groove. See, let me pull it out. I just show you what the groove look like. So make sure they, the groove is clean, free of debris. And um, just set them in and then reinstall.
So the rest of the job is just pretty much reverse the process of uh, remove. It's a uh, it's it's take a little bit to twinkle that little intake in intake manifold to get it in position, but it's doable. But if you are novice to this to do any maintenance on vehicle, I wouldn't advise you to do it. But if you are intermediate to like advanced level, then yes, yeah, easy. But yeah. I wouldn't change this if I knew that the valve is still good. But it's up to you. This is an educational video purpose only. So it's up to you on what you're going to do to your vehicle. Alright. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.